It is all fireworks. I remember Deputy President William Bruto and um, Baringo County Senator Gideon Moy uh, currently seen to be in a certain rift that has brought a rift right um, in between uh, the Rift Valley and to just keep us up to speed with this, to help us analyze what exactly is happening in Rift Valley. He was in Narok yesterday. That is Chris Tyro, a senior political reporter, now joining us live from our city center studios. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Chris. Uh, you had a long day yesterday at Narok as uh, you were covering defections of some of the Maasai leaders. And um, they have defected from Jubilee to the Chama Cha Mashinani. Is this a new outfit that uh, is going to give people sleepless nights in the Rift Valley? Well, uh, it's a uh, very interesting scenario is happening a few months to the general elections, especially in the Rift Valley region. Remember that uh, the votes there, oh, it's all uh, for each and every presidential aspirant to go and look for votes in the rich uh, vote uh, Rift Valley region. Uh, but uh, yesterday's events were very interesting because uh, at the South Rift, uh, that's uh, in Narok and Bomet County, uh, what we witnessed is that uh, Chama Chamashinani is really gaining uh, momentum and uh, traction. Remember that uh, it has already uh, one member of county assembly, that is Nyangores, in Bomet County. And uh, what we witnessed is that uh, uh, Isaac Ruto, who is the Bomet governor, is really, uh, up, uh, uh, is really determined to ensure that uh, he popularizes this Chama Chamashinani party and to ensure that uh, uh, he's uh, uh, trying uh, to uh, defeat or maybe trying uh, to uh, have more, uh, more, more support uh, in the Rift Valley uh, compared uh, to the deputy president. Uh, but uh, of interesting uh, events, is that uh, yesterday at Chama Chamashinani, uh, although they did not uh, indicate uh, if at all they will be supporting the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta, all they will be supporting the opposition NASA. Uh, what we saw is that uh, Kanu officials, uh, led by Gideon Moi, who is the Baringo Senator and Kanu Chairman, were present to receive uh, Patrick Ntutu. Uh, but uh, what we know is that uh, Kanu has already made their decision known uh, regarding the presidential ticket, and uh, they've uh, decided that uh, they will be supporting the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta. Now, the problem is that uh, uh, they, they seem, uh, Chama Chamashinani and Kanu seem to be having uh, those uh, bitter relationships between uh, uh, the officials there or the leaders in those parties and the deputy president. The question that maybe, maybe, maybe many will be asking is, will this affect uh, the, the votes uh, in terms of the presidential votes? Because uh, if you fight uh, the deputy president and yet you are supporting the president, this is one ticket when you go at the ballot. Uh, remember that uh, the ballot will just have uh, at least the presidential uh, uh, name. Uh, of course, if you are voting uh, for the presidency, you're of course voting uh, for the deputy. And this leaves a very interesting scenarios because this is the reason why even uh, the opposition, NASA, has decided to invade the Rift Valley because it leaves uh, many still asking, are they really determined to ensure they support the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta? Or are they just playing uh, and uh, maybe finally uh, the opposition, if at all they decide on who will uh, be their presidential flag bearer, might get more votes uh, compared uh, to the 2013 general elections. So very interesting scenarios in the Rift Valley ahead of the general elections, Akisa. Chris. Quite an analysis there. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes. Chris Tyro there, senior political reporter, uh, joining us live from our city centre studios. Let's now get into...